Okay, well, my next guest is a power player in Manhattan real estate looking to weather the downturn by breaking into a new industry. He's Jeff Blau and his partners at Related were the developers behind the Time Warner Center and now they're shopping for a bank. Jeff Blau joins us now and Jeff, great, to stop, great for you to stop by here. Good morning. Okay, so shopping for a bank. What is this about exactly? Well, we really saw the opportunity um, as, as the market kind of downturned a little bit in the real estate development sector. We thought there was a better opportunity to be on the lending side of the business than on the equity side of the business. Uh, and spent the last year getting up to speed with banking, regulatory uh, rules and information. FDIC, we got approval right? from the FDIC and the OCC. And you convinced and, them because you're real estate <clears throat> experts, right? Well, I think we, um, we understood what they were looking for. We're investing a lot of capital. We have a lot of real estate talent that we'll bring to the table. And I think that they see that as an ability to help them work out some of the troubled assets in the institutions. Now, uh, how close are you to buying a bank? Uh, we are looking for, at several right now. Uh, I can't say where we are beyond that, but we hope to accomplish that in 2010. Okay, so within the next 12 months. Within the next 12 months. You hope, and, uh, and you plan on eventually taking this bank public, is that correct? Correct. We are uh, raising some capital, or we're about to start raising some capital, and uh, we will ultimately, after we acquire an institution, take it public. Uh, and what are you looking specifically for as you're looking at the candidates? Really, we're looking for banks that are in the 8 to $15 billion range that are in distressed or troubled situations that could utilize uh, capital that we would inject into the bank, uh, either directly or through an FDIC-assisted deal. Mm -hmm. um, it would have a great deposit uh, franchise and platform and ability for us to gather low-cost capital through deposits. Uh, and we would really roll out a, a nationwide lending platform utilizing that banking platform. And you obviously believe in this because uh, you put your own money in there, right? We are putting because in a I lot of our own it. capital. Okay. All right, I want to move on, though, because, uh, you know, in this, obviously, in this crisis, uh, a lot of companies have had to change their strategies. You know, now you're looking at buying a bank, which is a different thing from what you did before. Uh, what, I guess, is, what is a strategy that's worked best for you that you've had to change? Well, obviously, development has slowed down quite a bit. Uh, so we really looked at how we could best utilize our resources, basically the talent that we have, the real estate talent. Uh, we've set up a series of funds to take advantage of distressed opportunities. Uh, and we're really trying to differentiate our product from everybody else's by focusing on things that require true real estate operator execution talent. So we've been working with banks to uh, assist them with uh, failed construction loans, failed condos. Mm -hmm. uh, we might take those over, finish construction, convert to rentals. Well, there must uh, be a lot of those out there. There's a lot of those out there. <laughs> uh, we've been working with banks to help them out of uh, pools of construction loans that they no longer want to hold on their balance sheet. Uh, so slightly different approach than, than the other funds out there. Uh, and how would you characterize, because you, know, you obviously know the commercial real estate market in the, you know, like the back of your hand. What is going on right now? Where is the opportunity? What's going on? Uh, I would say, uh, you know, from, from our perspective, uh, I think from an operating uh, perspective, the real estate, the commercial real estate markets have maybe hit bottom. They haven't, they, they flattened out. But I think the real trouble in the commercial real estate sector is the financing that's on all that real estate mm. and the inability to refinance as those, as those loans come due. And that's where we see the opportunity in the bank uh, to really make new loans and to refinance a lot of the commercial real estate out there today. Right. And some have said that also in commercial real estate is buying some of the distressed assets, you know, so Correct. Some, from, for some of those who can get the refinancing, Correct. they've got to go ahead and sell these assets. Now, as I understand it, you did try to bid for the failed assets of Chorus Bank shares, right? You eventually Correct. lost out to start with capital. Right. Uh, but what did you learn in that process when they were auctioning it off? When we first started working on that, uh, we were looking at it actually as a whole bank acquisition. So we would have bought Chorus Bank, the assets and the, and the deposits together. Uh, the FDIC ultimately decided to break that apart and mm -hmm. sell the assets separately. Uh, we were interested because that product type was high-rise for sale condo development, something that we do quite a bit of. Um, and our ability to work through the process, uh, foreclose, finish construction, and ultimately sell those assets, we thought uh, would be a great fit for us. Okay, no regrets on that though, right? Not at that price. Okay. <laughs> All right. Jeff, good to have you with us. Thanks for stopping by here at the Bloomberg headquarters. Thanks for having us. Uh, Jeff Blau.